Hello, and welcome to Learn Stage Now with Zebra Knowledge Center. This series covers everything you need to know to stage Zebra mobile computers efficiently, productively, and effortlessly using our Stage Now tool. In this episode, you will learn how to connect and deploy an application on your device using Stage Now. If you're new to Stage Now, be sure to check out our Stage Now overview and Stage Now Essentials videos. They are very short, but contain important information you want to know when working with Stage Now. Okay, let's begin. Here is a heads up of what is covered and how it's covered. Overall, it should take no more than 30 minutes to go through all of it. We'll start with a diagram and then move on to the tool itself. Let's go. Before moving on, let's quickly review the two key workflows StageNow has, configuration and deployment. The first one is configuration workflow. Do you remember the key points? Where is all the data encoded? Do you need StageNow running on your workstation? Can it work fully offline? In this mode, all data is in the barcode tag, so you don't need StageNow running. It works fully offline. But the amount of data is fairly low, so it's suitable mainly for simple operations. The second workflow, which we've learned in the last episode, is the deployment workflow. What is encoded in the tag barcode now? How are apps and files delivered to device? Do you need StageNow running? What if your workstation has obtained a different IP address over DHCP now? Do you have limitations on size of the data now? Can you push multiple files in the same profile? In this mode, the barcode tag contains only a reference to the data and the IP address of StageNow. The actual data is downloaded from the built-in server that runs whenever StageNow runs. So you need to have StageNow running on your machine and IP connectivity to it. If the StageNow machine obtains a different IP address, you might have to regenerate the barcode tag sheet. This way, you can transfer lots of data in multiple files. Which mode is better? Well, most of the more functional StageNow wizards use both. Now that we've refreshed the workflows, let's see how they are implemented in the actual profiles and wizards. Check out the top menu ribbon. The StageNow config and RD config sections are configuration. Any setting that is put here will be directly encoded in the barcode. The deployment section is, respectively, deployment. Any setting that is put here will be downloaded. This is important to remember, so you can quickly understand whether the profile you're viewing requires online operation. It also helps you to better design your advanced free flow profiles in the expert mode. Here's what we will do in this episode. Last time, we created a profile using the Manage Applications wizard that deployed the Enterprise Home Screen, EHS, to our device. But there was a shortcoming. It did not set up EHS as default launcher. We could have addressed that by selecting a wizard that can do everything, such as configure device. But instead, we will use expert mode to build our own free flow sequence. This will enable you to harness any kind of deployment you may require, provided it's supported by StageNow. This time, we will recreate the sequence in expert mode, adding new steps highlighted red on the right. Also note that many of the settings we created last time were saved for future reuse, so we don't need to recreate them from scratch. Saves a lot of time. So, let's do it. Here's StageNow home screen, already in admin mode. Let us first go to the All Settings screen 
and see what settings do we have available. We have all the WLAN settings we need, EHS download, install, config, and run settings and a reboot one. We will note the type of the settings, Wi-Fi, file manager, app manager, etc., so that we can quickly find them later in expert mode. Now, let's create a new profile in expert mode called EHS Expert. For an out-of-box device, the only way to configure WLAN is to embed the settings in the barcode sheet, so we need to use the configuration workflow. The next step asks us if we want to use a wizard or a setting. We will use settings as it's a bit simpler, but I want to quickly show you the wizards because they are a tiny bit different. If you choose a wizard from that menu, you'll notice that there's more wizards here than in the Create Profile menu. That doesn't mean we're hiding something from you, though there are the mini wizards that the big wizards are made from. So you can use them when you want to. But we will use settings. The workflow for our WLAN configuration was disable all WLANs, create a new one, connect to it. So that's three steps, which we already have from the previous episodes. So we'll just put them back in. All settings were of type Wi-Fi, and we just need to put them in the right order. Stage Now asks us if we want to add another setting to the configuration section. Let's add the remaining two. One thing you will notice about Expert Mode in Stage Now 2.0 and 2.1 is that it's strictly linear. You can't shuffle the steps around, nor can you insert or delete steps in the middle but you can edit. This makes it very important to think your process through carefully before starting the profile creation. Once we have network connection established, we can move over to deployment. The deployment flow begins with repeating the already existing steps, such as download and install EHS and download config. Then, we'll create a couple new settings to set EHS as default launcher and delete the EHS APK. All these settings, however, are of different types, and one might not remember all of them. This is where the wizards become handy. Namely, the Application Management Wizard. This part should be familiar. Let us quickly go through and reuse saved settings. Note that this time you don't have to remember settings types. Just choose the right names. And we're back to the deployment screen. Now, we want to create a new setting to delete the APK. Type File MGR. Giving it the name of the APK file, which we have put onto SD card ourselves. Similarly, we'll create a setting to set EHS as default launcher. The setting type we need is app MGR. I learned that searching the built-in help for launcher. Let's save it for future as well. Action set as default launcher, package EHS package name, which I found in the EHS documentation. Continue. And a setting to reboot the device. Type power MGR. Save it for the future. That's it. No more config steps in this profile. Let's review. Test. And publish our profile. Everything should work great. One last thing before we finish. 
Let's say that a PSK has changed for a wireless LAN that is used in many profiles. All of those profiles now need to be edited for this tiny change. Good thing you saved that setting for future reuse. You can now go to the All Settings screen and edit just this setting alone. Note, you must save a setting for reuse to see it here. For each setting, you can see which profiles are using it and edit it. You might need to unpublish the profiles using this setting first for safety and data integrity. It is advised to test each profile before republishing it again. Note that this is the place where you can also create settings independently. OK, that's all you need to learn about Stage Now, really. Take your time exploring the various settings and, as a small homework challenge, try creating a profile that will remove EHS along with its APK, config, and log files from the device. OK, that was it. Now let's play a game that will help you check what you've learned. You will see a question pop up. Pause the video and think on an answer. Then unpause and check. Let's see how many of them can you get right. Let's go. That was the last one. Hope you did well. Congratulations, and thank you for watching this video. You are now fully in control of Stage Now and can do pretty much everything that is supported. Other videos will cover specific use cases, settings, and very advanced aspects of Stage Now.